Hello, I'm Alex from Table Tennis 11, and today I am guest of Professor Kuditz. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> As I'm injured, I'm not so well, but it will be all. It will be soon, okay, I hope. I hope so, <laughs> too. Oh, thank you. First of all, thank you very much for the invitation. And thank you for the time. Welcome. Most of our followers and our listeners, they know you for our, at least for our table tennis blog. Some articles has already published there, but we will publish several more articles about table tennis with the author, Professor Kuditz. I hope they enjoy reading it. In table tennis, you have different positions during long table tennis life. You were international table tennis player, coach of different teams and national team coach. Now you are honorary member of uh, European Table Tennis Union and uh, member of uh, ITTF President Advisory Council. You were president of uh, Yugoslavian Table Tennis Association. But if you would introduce yourself, how you introduce yourself briefly, what is the main position? What is the main position? I don't know. Everything. I enjoyed uh, being in table tennis all my life. I was a lecturer, I was an author of several books, I was player, I was coach. I enjoyed all of these uh, functions. <laughs> but if you need uh, to tell only like, two or three words about yourself in table tennis, how you would, uh, how you would say this? First, I was a player. and. Everything after followed only this because I fall in love with table tennis as a young kid, uh, as a player, and I enjoyed playing. Uh, when I was young, there was no money in table tennis. We were all amateurs. We had to go to school to study. To we all finished our studies. Uh, we didn't get any money playing table tennis. Today, players like I was. Uh, uh, 70, 60, 70 years ago, they they are professionals. They have money. It is it is their profession. Uh, I don't think I would ever like to be a professional table tennis player. So I just enjoyed playing, and uh, I think it is good if uh, as long as the professionals enjoy playing table tennis when they think about. This is my profession, I have to do my job. I, I don't understand it anymore. But what about coaches? For coaches, it's, it should be a profession. For well, coaches, of course, it is a normal profession. I mean, coaches is, is professional, but even, you know, uh, uh, you you feel if, if a coach is just doing his job or he is really in it, trying to improve the player and it is it is uh, I always uh, 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 think the coach must be just uh, like a player he must love his job he must really and the player must feel it that the coach cares it is it, it, it is not enough to be a professional coach and do his professional job. So table tennis actually is a sport about love. So without, I'm sure without it is this so. passion, yes, yes. Can I say that you are a table tennis lover? Ah, uh, please don't say it in front of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can can we can I say that uh, you are experienced table tennis coach? Oh yes. But what is your? Can you say a few words about your coaching career? My coaching career began with 25. I decided not to play active anymore because I, I thought I reached uh, uh, my peak and uh, it doesn't uh, make any sense to try further on. Uh, and I started to uh, coach. I, was, I began with, with children. Among these children, they are Schurbeck and Chordash later on, big names in table tennis. I learned to become a coach together with their improvement. So I made a lot of, afterwards, 
I knew. I made a lot of uh, mistakes uh, in my uh, first steps as, as, as coach because at that time there, there were no education for coaches, nothing. We, we had to do everything but just out of practice. So, but I didn't make too many uh, mistakes because uh, those players became <laughs> top world-class players. The beginning, and the, it, 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 it was then fun for me. I went to Germany, I became a Bayern coach, I became German junior coach, I came back, I became Yugoslav women coach, and I was uh, really hungry to help these players to become better, and I was really in it. And when I today see some coaches which are just doing this uh, job as, as a job in, in, in office, then I don't like what I see. What do you think? What, what you are following this table tennis world, so you you see how coaches are working, how new coaches are uh, coming? Ah, it's uh, today, of course, uh, you have to uh, know much more than we did, because uh, when I started, it, uh, afterwards became uh, we, we got this uh, uh, many balls training and then this uh, interval training and this uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, based uh, uh, physical preparation and so on. It, it, it came all step by step. Uh, uh, when I started 50 years ago as a coach, nothing was there. We had to learn for ourselves everything about technique today you have scientific uh, 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 research about technique and uh, about movement about everything and then you can learn uh, we didn't have such uh, possibilities because there was nothing where you can learn something so uh, today uh, it is uh, really very important that the coaches uh, follow this uh, uh, researches and, and uh, what uh, everything what we knew we know today about technique, uh, uh, physical preparation, and so on and so on. I hate those coaches. Who, uh, they say I know everything because there is nobody who knows everything. You always have to learn. If you stop uh, learning and you can forget your job. But are there any good coaches in Europe at the, at the, uh, at the time? Now? Of course, we have, uh, we have uh, uh, good uh, coaches, but you know, uh, there is one big problem in Europe, because uh, in, in Europe, um, normally, in, they ask, of course, uh, some exceptions, but in, in Europe, uh, uh, the top coaches, uh, are getting in, in their hands uh, uh, not ready-made players <laughs> because they start in most cases in Europe somewhere for example here we are now in, in a small place uh, which is on the coast and uh, this is I don't know 3,000 inhabitants two young girls came into Croatian national team from, from this place but they started in, in this club up to their 15th uh, 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 with, with really amateur coaches. Uh, it, there is a bus driver who is uh, in, in his free time coach in, in, in the club. So you cannot expect from him uh, that he educates these younger girls in the way how a professional Chinese or whatever uh, uh, coach educates his uh, uh, beginners from their seventh uh, 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 year. So, of course, they are not uh, in the same uh, uh, way educated with 15 as, as somebody who started already with a professional uh, uh, coaching uh, uh, with seven. So, this is a European problem. And you have in Europe, talents in, in, in countries with, which is, I don't know, if it, 
uh, even in, in Croatia, which is a, a country with uh, great table tennis uh, tradition. Uh, uh, if you are, if you want to be a, a really world-class player, to become, if you have such a talent, and of course will to, to, to become uh, a, a top-class player, you have no chance uh, to do it in Croatia. You have to go out with 17 or 18 because after that there is no chance uh, for uh, development to the to the top. You don't have the uh, uh, sparring partners. You don't have the coaches. You, you you don't have the conditions. Everything is not to uh, go somewhere. But where, where to go? Uh, this, this is uh, the biggest problem. This is the biggest problem. This. this uh, European uh, Federation is now trying to solve the problem. There are fair steps uh, uh, because if you are going, if you are uh, 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 already with uh, 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 18, 19 years old, a good young player, then you go to a German club or to French club or whatever. Uh, you have uh, there a, a preparation because you get your money, you earn your money from this club. And this club is interested only when you're playing for the club. We have, for example, our uh, 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 Croatian uh, young player became an uh, uh, under-21 uh, uh, European champion. Of course, he had a very uh, the best Croatian coach uh, here. But uh, he, uh, he brought into this uh, under-21 European champion, but uh, 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 this is not enough to be under-21 champion. You must be European champion. Under-21 is only a step to this highest level. And there was no chance for him to develop. No money, no, no, no sparring partners. But nothing is here which would enable him to become a top European player. So he went to, to, Pol to a Polish uh, 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 club, which uh, gave him uh, good money and, uh, and, and gave him uh, practice in, 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 in the club. But they were only uh, interested, in, in this is quite normal, uh, interested in having a good club player not to develop this uh, and, and if uh, if uh, there was something uh, uh, he should do for his international career no first was something he has to do it for for the club so now at last he went hopefully not <laughs> too late he went to Saarbrücken uh, uh, he is a Tipa player and Tipa made an international training training camp for such young players, which are uh, sponsored by TIPA. Uh, some other companies made the same, uh, I, I mean, uh, for, for, for their players. There is a training camp where the, uh, uh, these young players are coming together, have good coaches, have good sparring partners. And uh, the, uh, the, the aim is that they are not a good for, for the club, Saarbrücken or whichever club they play, but to develop these players to the top. Uh, the other side, the European uh, Table Tennis uh, Federation is uh, making some developing programs to catch such players, already younger players, than 14, 15, and then give them these uh, opportunities for development. Because if you are not in Germany, in Germany it's another situation. You have these uh, uh, centers, in, uh, regional centers, where, where they put uh, uh, their talented players together and so on. But if you are not in Germany, if you are in, in, in Croatia or Albania or Moldavia, or, or, uh, then you have no chances. And then you will uh, come to such a center with 18, 19 or 20. And then it's... Too late. Uh, not, Not too late, late but quite late. quite late. Quite late. I would like just one thing to point out. Uh, we have now a lot of table tennis coaches, but we have uh, some top players in table tennis, or some coaches which were before top 
uh, table tennis players, which were solid table tennis players. Even we have in the top like Mourinho, uh, who was never football player. Uh, uh, we have top uh, table tennis coaches, which were never table tennis players, maybe on ping pong level only. I would uh, 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 like to say only that there is uh, no guarantee for anybody to be a good coach or not a good coach, or, or, not, or not a coach at all. So personal, Even, personal uh, skills is, doesn't matter? It, it, uh, it, is of, uh, it, it is for sure useful if you were a top player before, because when you come then you have an authority as a coach. Ah. He was a world champion, or I don't know, or a German champion. You have, from the start, an uh, advantage. But you soon lose the advantage if they see, if the players see you are not giving them what they expect from their coach. A mid, uh, and uh, on the other side, the top coach is always... Uh, 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 in danger that he says, I was a world champion, I did it in that way, so if my uh, uh, player will do it in this way, he will become a very good player as well. And this is for sure not true, because... Uh, players are different is, uh, times, are diff times, yeah. times are so changing. This is a danger for, the, for these top players. Top. So he must be clever enough to understand this, to use his authority, but not uh, as a way of uh, he used to practice and play and so on. Uh, the middle class player is maybe in a, a, a better position because he is not uh, in danger to say, aha, I did it in that way, so if he does it, okay. Then he will become a middle class player. <laughs> this is not the, the goal. So this is that. And he can, if he's clever, he can use. Uh, his, his experience, experience in, in a good way. But for, I know, I, uh, I, for example, I, uh, I, I can tell you in, 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 in Croatia, uh, 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 I, I, I can tell you in Croatia, uh, uh, we, we had some top coaches in, in Yugoslavia as well, which were only playing table tennis on ping pong level. Really top coaches, national team coaches. And the players never minded because they had the authority through their knowledge and work. So uh, I would say uh, uh, this is uh, uh, for, for to, to become a good coach it is really easier to have authority at the beginning, but it is only at the beginning the difference. Afterwards, it is only what can you give to the players or, or not give to the player. And, and sometimes the, even the experience could be not the benefit. Yeah, if, if you don't know how to handle yeah. the, your experience, you are right. Yeah. Uh, you have mentioned uh, Tibor company who supported Putzer. Uh, and uh, took, took, uh, gave them opportunity to practice in Saarbrücken. Yes. But uh, we also know that after your coaching career, you have dedicated a big part of your life and table tennis life uh, working for a tip card company. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I was owner of uh, my own company in Croatia and I worked very close with, with Tipa, yes. And I had, when we started with Tipa, Tipa was uh, really three or four men company. Now it is a world company and I am happy that I was a part of this development. Uh, also, but you haven't worked in the company? Or, or you, you I was never employed in the company. Never employed. I had my own company which was partner of, of Tipa. But we know also that you play a big role in the development uh, of Vladimir Samsonov as an international table tennis player. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a, a crazy story, I must say. This, 
I saw the uh, 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 I saw uh, uh, some sort of uh, first time in he was a just uh, uh, his head was just over the table. He was uh, really uh, uh, his first uh, uh, um, cadet European Championship in Athens, and then he was a uh, fourth player of, of, of the Soviet Union. Uh, selection and they became European champions but uh, he was uh, all the tournament sitting on the bench as he was the number four in, in, in the team and then in singles he, he, he won the uh, bronze medal already so on his first tournament he was 12 and then I saw him in, in uh, um, he was uh, last, but, last but one, uh, uh, his cadet uh, year in Luxembourg. He became European cadet champion in singles. And I admired this child, uh, this little boy. He, it was, uh, I want, I don't know. Uh, it was uh, simply fantastic to watch him, how with easiness which he, did play. Uh, it was perfect. And I, I called uh, Mr. Berg, the owner of Tipa Company, to come from Saarbrücken to Luxembourg to watch this small guy. I said to him, uh, you know what? This is the guy I see a bright future for him. Oh, yeah, okay. Then I uh, after that, it was. Uh, I was asked by um, by a table tennis uh, magazine to ask. Um, yeah, I was asked to write an article about uh, how I uh, see the development of uh, table tennis in last decade of the la past century. It was in 1990. Uh, how I see what will happen, how the table tennis will look in in 2000, in the year 2000. And I finished my article with my prognosis: what will happen, how, in which way uh, uh, table tennis will develop. I finished my uh, uh, article with, okay, and now, now in, in in Luxembourg we maybe saw the future world champion in 2000. And uh, Vladimir Samsonov was not world champion in 2000, but he was number one in in, in the world ranking list in 2000. So that, that was the beginning, and then in uh, uh, Stuttgart, 94, uh, he was still junior, and he came to as um, number five, uh, for, uh, not for Uni uh, uh, USSR anymore, because USSR uh, was not existing anymore, but it was the last year, so it was not possible, because uh, you know, there were now Belarus and Armenia and Azerbaijan and, and Russia and Belarus and so on. So uh, it was not possible uh, 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 to uh, let all these new countries to play European Championships, but in all sports it was the same. They let one year, uh, uh, it was a team of... Um, community of independent states. Uh, of in the, in, independent CIS. community, yeah. In independent states, so Vladi was playing for this as number five. And then, uh, before it was of course not possible to speak with uh, anybody for sponsoring, uh, because uh, USSR had a firm uh, contract with the company and all USSR players there in the national team obligatory playing with uh, for with the equipment of this company, and then suddenly he was free because he was sudden. He, next year he was Belarus, and then I uh, spoke with Belarus, with his coach Petkevich, and of course with the young boy. And I told him that it would be good to uh, come to Tipa. Tipa will sponsor him, and I will uh, help him to come because in in. Uh, all this system, which was in USSR, and uh, uh, Vladi went to Moscow each month for two, two weeks to have practice in this uh, uh, 
uh, USSR table tennis center. It was, of course, not existing anymore for for him because he was another state now, and in Belarus there there were no possibilities for him to develop uh, his talents. So I uh, uh, and his coach agreed, and he signed a lifetime contract. After that, it came out that it was a lifetime contract uh, with Tipa, and I helped him to come to. Germany into their training center in Heidelberg. So he came to Heidelberg, uh, they took him for one year. In this one year, everybody saw that there is a big, big talent and then uh, uh, clubs wanted to have him. He went to Russia Düsseldorf where there was a great coach, Mario Amezic and, and uh, Roskopf and Fetzner were young players in this club as well. So. There was his further development then. There are some funny stories from this uh, first year of, of um, uh, Vladi uh, told me, you, uh, after half a year Vladi told me, I was at that time uh, lecturing in, from, in this um, uh, Olympic Center, the German Olympic Center, and Vladi told me, oh, you know, it is so difficult for me Saturdays and Sundays, everybody goes home, but I am staying in the center and nobody is in the center. Because it was only from Monday to Friday practice there, and on Saturdays and uh, Sundays, most of the players went home and played for their clubs and so on, and Vladi was staying alone in, in this uh, 15 years old guy, not, not the best thing for him. And then I told him, okay, I spoke with my friends from Bayern München, I used to be a long time ago Bayern coach and I spoke with them and I said, you know, I have a guy for you. They were playing in this regional, uh, uh, one regional league, not, not in Bundesliga. I have really a good player for you and it costs nothing. You, you give him some money, some pocket money, but he will be happy just to take him Saturdays and Sundays, take him in your families or whatever so that not into a hotel. No, okay. And uh, the family of the president of the uh, of, uh, table tennis club Bayern took him, and uh, then he had to come uh, uh, at number one. They put him on number one in, 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 in this uh, uh, team, in their team, and then uh, he had to go for the first uh, match to Munich. And then a friend of mine, a coach from Munich, uh, uh, called, phoned me and told me, please don't let uh, uh, this uh, Russian guy to go to, to, uh, to this match. To, this is the first match in, in Munich. Everybody expects, I don't know what from him, but uh, th he is a Russian guy and the Russian players have no idea how to uh, play against defense. And he has to play his first match against the best defense player in this league. And this is a catastrophe and everybody will be disappointed after this match. I told him, don't worry, I will let him go to this match. And of course, Vladi went to this match and won easily uh, this uh, match against this best defender of, of the league. Because I knew Vladi was uh, all his junior years playing each day against Chetining, <laughs> and he had a wonderful hand, and he was he was able to play with closed eyes against defense. And after uh, all his life as 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 a player, he was always a, a really a nightmare for all defenders. <laughs> so this was his first match in Munich. Uh, what do you think? Are there any good? talented table tennis player who has maybe the same potential as Vladi at that time, nowadays? Nowadays? Of nowadays. course, why not? So tell, tell me please, uh, according... I, 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 can, I can tell you, for example, we have now really, a, I don't know, I cannot compare it really with, with Vladi, but it is a really, really talented young boy, uh, uh, 15 years, in Zagreb, in Croatia. 
And this really talented boy is in the, in the club, where yeah, there is a coach, he is, uh, which is what I told you before. He is not really interested in table tennis. It is his job. It is not his uh, uh, hobby at the same time. Or oh, his love, as you say. Uh, and there are no players. He is a, by far the best player with 15 years in this club. And he is playing, practicing in this club. And uh, he's, of course, had a champion and, uh, of Croatia, but uh, uh, coach, national team coach, uh, uh, said before the uh, World Championships in, in Sweden in May that there are five players which had, uh, there are uh, uh, four players which he uh, will nominate for the team, but the fifth player, there are several players, younger and older, which uh, which may uh, be the fifth player. And he made a tournament, uh, 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 the winner of this tournament uh, all, um, will be qualified. Uh, will be qualified. So it is, uh, of course, uh, everybody against everybody. So, And then he said uh, six players will be take the uh, 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 cadet champion. It is good school for him to play against all these five guys, all the guys. And then he became uh, the fifth member of the uh, main team. So he won all the candidates? He won all the... Uh, again, Although uh, he was uh, nobody. chosen as... Uh, uh, everybody says, why you, why you are nominating him? Because he is cadet champion and he, it is good school for him, practice for him. And he became the fifth player. And he is still in the same club, and uh, I, I say this is a miracle that he is so good. I watched him. He has a very good hand. He has no fear. I mean, this is very important for a young player. No, oh, I'm playing here. So, so why? He has to beat him. He is, I don't know what uh, uh, former uh, 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 Croatian man champion, so what? He has to, I have to play with him. So. These two things are really perfect with this. But he has a lot of technical problems. He has problems with, with, uh, 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 with his uh, footwork and so on. All things which can, he can easily learn with his talent. And he has a will. But in this way he will... I, I told him, next year he, uh, he, it will be the first junior. Uh, year for him. So you will see what will happen next year because just playing on talent without uh, adequate practice, it's, it, it's no future. And this is happening everywhere in Europe. You have such talented boys and girls, and but they have no chance to improve. I'm now uh, trying to find a way how to change this uh, because if is, will stay in the same uh, 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 modus, then nothing will happen in future. This 18, he will be nobody. What is his name? Ban. But he is among the best 10 cadets in the world cadet ranking. But in, in junior ranking list, next year he will be no. He is playing still cadet table tennis. And then if he has to learn to play junior table tennis, and after that he has to play man table tennis. But what do you think? And, 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 and I mean, this is only one example. We have now, I say, uh, uh, you uh, tries to, to make programs for, for such cases. Because in Germany, such a talented player, okay, there is a way for him. Because there are regional centers and then there is a national center. There is a way for, for, for such. But unfortunately, at the moment, Germany has no talents. And the talents which are, for example, in Croatia, they have no such uh, system as Germany has, or France. Or France. Germany is a big country and also table tennis is quite big there. Uh, this is another story. Yeah. This is another story.